Lowell, two teams that only have two wins this season. Brings it back over to Jones. Nice look inside from Thomas, and Livingston finishes it off. Pretty finish with the offhand there by the sophomore. Cumberlander the other way, off the window for two. Livingston, an open three, and he rattles it home. Batiste with pace, kick out, Seymour, thought about the J. Glides inside and lays it in. Pretty. Up the floor is Primarano. Kick out, Harris, he'll let it rip, and he strokes it. 26-17, just over 10 minutes to play in the first half. Primarano, and he drops it in. Thomas off the catch. In the corner, Primarano lets it rip. Cans the three. He's had some good play here in the first half. So is this guy, Primarano, again. Give them all three. Boys or kids that might not, not normally have those doors open. Open look for Batista, and he drills it. That'll end the first half. A successful 20 minutes for Pat Duquette and his bunch at Costello Athletic Center. Go after some steals. You need to you know, lay it all out there, really. Jay, corner three, bullseye. <laughs> Here's Cumberlander the other way, and it's pinned off the window by Primerano. I'll tell you, if the Riverhawks had a 6'9", 240-pound presence in the post, they'd be one difficult basketball team to beat. Down to three. Seymour uncontested for an easy layup. He's Walter. With the left hand, gets the friendly bounce. Thomas wide open, and he's fouled. Perry's going to wind things down. UMass Lowell dominates from half to half. And the Riverhawks get win number three. Final score this one, 86-69. UMass Lowell improves to 3-8 on the season as Central Connecticut State falls 2-8.